in this particular video, I'm going to go beyond topical logic and take it on a whole different plane in theory. And that's the theory of doing a quantum leap into another reality that is way far advanced and very clandestine to our secular world and carnal reality. If there's anyone who's out there who are very curious on how any of these narcissistic attacks that take all these real heavy and severe effects on you, this video will take you to the other side. This video will take you to another dimension that can't be seen by any naked eye of carnal and from the physical secular world. And you will see the truth on what had really happened to you. Or maybe even see what is really happening to you right now. You will see things and know of mysterious things that is really happening in another realm of spiritual reality. You will even be exposed to unknown spiritual powers that surround you from the higher creator who formed the earth and everything in the universe. What is it of you that this narcissist mainly attacked? A person is contained of three particular things that makes them complete as one person. And one part is the flesh. The flesh is the most physical part of the man that contains many vital organs that keep the physical body in operation and active. Anatomy studies of biology find that the human body is the most fascinating structure to learn from. Even on how any life form can develop within a life taking formation inside a live human being, reproducing life within life, recreating a duplicate image of its own, picking up the genes and chromosomes of each life form that had came together in reproduction. Another part that the body contain is a part that gives you character and personality. This part is what makes the person feel things mentally. This is the part what makes the person expresses the things that are within them. This is the part that molds the person its identity and gives you structure to yourself. This part can operate from any thoughts and imagination. Even your thoughts and imagination vessel through this part of you and this part that contain these unique qualities that's a little more advanced than the flesh this part of you is the soul this is the main part of you that the narcissist attacked and that's this evil dwelling spirit that's within the narcissist is what been attacking you. This demonic force within the narcissist uses evil spiritual warfare up on your soul to do fatal attacks and extreme mental damage to the mind and cause mental pain to the heart. Why is this? Why out of all things this evil spirit within the narcissist attack your soul as a main target. This is because the soul itself contained of three main things. And that's your mind, your will, and even your emotions. If you notice out of these three main things, these are all the parts of the soul that you operate from. The flesh is only a host for this, just a host for the soul. The flesh only can just feel physical pain and everything within the flesh start to work in you, healing any wounds or scars as all your physical body function patch up things, creating a natural 
band-aid out of bodily tissue. The soul, on the other hand, does not work like this. Whenever the soul is insulted through words or insults that is expressed through any form of action can cause a stir up and confusion to your sanity. There's nothing in the body that just can go back and start healing this in a physical process. And this evil spirit knows this. This part of you, and that's the soul, this part is the only part that gives you structure. If this evil spirit know to just take away your structure, then this evil spirit and the narcissist know that you're just going to be an empty shadow of yourself, feeling far from your will and strength. This evil dwelling in this narcissist even stir up your emotions as well, causing you to think outside of your right state of mind, allowing you to be moved by every feeling and any feeling that approach your mind. This can cause you to be weakened by this person or weakened for this person or even allowing you to operate at your lowest abilities mentally, putting you beneath your strength, allowing you to be very sensitive to words from others, putting you through all types of depression. This evil deadly spirit within this narcissist uses evil spiritual powers and witchcraft to rearrange your mind around by taking you out of your state of mind of reality, leading your mind with all types of doubts on your outlook towards any situation or certain things you had once feel confident about. You'll start noticing that you're feeling like you start to lack your abilities and intelligence that you once was in tone with before leading in thoughts of you trying to restore your memories and thoughts on things that was usually common for you to remember or even to know. The cause of this on dealing with this narcissist is that the evil spirit within them is using a warfare against your mind and throughout the mysterious part of your soul. It's almost as the narcissist start pick up all your strength and ability. The warfare is causing you to undermine yourself, hypnotizing you to the narcissist. That's why you notice that your mind and reality seems to be that it revolves around the narcissist. Your soul starts to knit with this narcissist soul as well. And you start to take on feelings, emotions, and thoughts that's not even your own. And the narcissist start to carry traits and abilities and even certain intelligence that supernaturally seem to be of your own. This is because of a reunion of soul ties. You'll start slowly but surely exchanging souls with each other. This narcissist that you are dealing with contain a very dark soul themselves. It's full of chaos, rebellious, anger, envy, rage, destruction, vengeance, pride, selfishness, grandiosity, untruthful, and playing out evil. And these are not the fruits of God's spirit and far from it. Galatians 5 verse 22 through 23 indicate the fruits of God's spirit and also this can indicate the fruits of a good tree. A tree is identified by the fruits that it produces. And the final part that the body contains and this part is very much more supernatural than the body, flesh, and soul. This part is the most central part of you that can govern the soul. This part also struggle with your flesh. 
this part of the body can enable many miracles out of you, maybe beyond the capabilities of what you may feel limited to. And the name of this part that remains in the body is called your spirit. This part of you is the light of you. And this part is where you are connected to the light. This is the part that this evil and demonic spirit within the narcissist tried to keep you far away from. Once you connect with this within you, you will start to notice that you will be in tone and connected to all things in the universe that is so far beyond and advanced to any logical and physical understanding of mankind. This part of you is a spiritual telepathic to a whole other supernatural spiritual reality that is unseen to the carnal eyes and far from the secular world. This part that is within you is in communion with a very high powerful being and all the spiritual powers of creation. This is the part of you that protect you from the narcissist and the demonic powers or curses that it tried to conflict upon you. Once you start to be in tune to the spirit inside you, you will start to connect to an outer limit of supernatural power and protection from the supernatural reality of the spiritual world. And this is the part of you that restore your soul from any damage from the narcissist. This spirit that within you is also communion with other spiritual powers as well that also protect you from the narcissist and its demonic forces and witchcraft. There are other spiritual beings that are out there that always have been a mystery to men and on how they try to wrap their mind around their spiritual existence. No one can understand how they were created or even on how long they existed. And on any mysterious spiritual journeys that they have traveled throughout time and through many spiritual dimensions that's beyond the carnal world or on even how many in numbers are created. These spiritual beings have power far, far from any technology that mankind can ever be aware of and can do mysterious things that no science or any scientific logic theory that cannot explain on any logical terms that we can understand. These spiritual beings that mysteriously exist in the spiritual realm are part of our protection from the spiritual warfare that the narcissists conflict upon you from the forces of darkness. These mysterious spiritual beings are known to have great power. Some of these spiritual beings was known to have killed 185,000 soldier men according to the biblical history in 2 Kings. In logical mathematics, these are many people in the amount that can almost fill up two NFL football stadiums. This is only just one spiritual being out of no telling how many of these spiritual beings are created in the spiritual existence had done this amount of kill count. It been very mysterious to man on the vision 
of these spiritual beings, their description to us that is explained biblically and on spiritual perspective come off as mysterious creatures. Their beauty is far more explained than anything that mankind had ever visually witnessed or even ran across. There are many in the biblical history these spiritual creatures came off as very phenomenal in the presence of anyone who witnessed them. They are also deliver of messages. There are many mysteries about these spiritual creatures and many have witnessed mysterious protection from these mysterious spiritual creatures that cannot be explained to our understanding or even described in words or any other foreign languages. Some of these spiritual beings are even hovering throughout this physical world that we live in. Some of these spiritual creatures may be following you everywhere you go, even watching over you. And the name of these mysterious spiritual beings that travel through these spiritual realms and hovering throughout the carnal world in their spirit form and maybe some in disguise in the flesh are called angels. These are some spiritual protectors who were sent out to protect you from these narcissistics and any other attacks. Unlikely the fallen angels, they are full of rebellion. These fallen angels are considered as demons and lost their possession of power to come in whatever human shape or limit formation into the carnal world which is our secular world. The works from these demons in the most rebellious way through carnal are limited to certain spiritual powers that makes them only to jump into a human host, allowing them to react out of abnormal behavior under the influence from the world of darkness, even narcissists. That's why it always seemed to be whenever you dealing with this narcissist, it seemed to be that this person do acts and reaction that seem to be very bizarre. Unknown split personalities, unusual behavior of their normal doing and unpredictable changes and action. Be very careful of this narcissist because this demonic telepathic force or even evil spirit will flood your soul with deep total darkness. You will witness a feeling beyond any dark shadows of any psychological void, putting total darkness into your mind from unknown evil principality forces that is much more superior to any natural human mind. Whenever you're dealing with this type of spiritual warfare can sometimes or maybe many times in most cases can leave you very drained and exhausted. Whenever you are physically face to face dealing with this narcissist or however you are dealing with any particular situation with this narcissist, it may appear that you're dealing with a natural person who operate from a natural state of mind, but nevertheless think on any certain terms 
that you can completely wrap your mind around this narcissist behavior on thinking that just logically you got the narcissist covered and figured out. This is one of the main mistakes that many people make on dealing with a narcissist on coming to an logical understanding in their own understanding. If you take a deeper look, this thing within the narcissist operate out of powers and knowledge far advanced from the secular world beyond in another realm of reality. Theirs is a spiritual world that something out there may have been around longer than the existence of earth who knows every aspect of creation and the understanding of all spiritual creation. Once you have the eyes and the ears open to the other dimensional powers and to the unknown spiritual principalities of darkness and all the evil traits, once you witness the evil operation behind this spiritual warfare, only then and only then that you will truly know what you are really, really up against. In what way and in what strength can we use to protect ourselves from the narcissist and the spiritual warfare that project all the evil demonic and witchcraft upon us through our walk and journey in life? What kind of defense or method can we use against something we can't see? Do we fight against the carnal or is this battle is really spiritual? And if so, what kind of weapons can we use against this evil force? As the narcissist has a telepathic influence from the dark world, then where and who and how can we find the opposite spiritual gateway to withstand the tactics and schemes of this evil demonic influence that is working through this narcissist? Have there ever been anyone out there who had came to victory towards this narcissist whenever they had been confronted by their evil tactics. And if this is spiritual, then what spiritual weapons or tactics can anyone use towards the attacks from the spiritual realms beyond the carnal world? How was this spiritual warfare or spiritual battle was handled in the early times? How long this type of warfare was even around? If we take this back to a biblical factor on how this was dealt with, maybe we will be able to understand on how spiritual warfare was dealt with in early times. If we go back to BC or even AC, there was many strong believers in their spirit and connected to a very high power to get knowledge and understanding and power to withstand these spiritual attacks. There was one of the great apostles in the history of the New Testament of the spiritual gospel who had delivered us a message. And this was the apostle Paul who been exposed to these weapons that take its stand against this evil force in high places. He had represent us the true weapons and these are the true weapons that will defeat the schemes and the attacks of the rulers and the high authorities of darkness in all high wicked places. And these are spiritual weapons. These strong believers had took this battle to another level using the power of the Holy Spirit connecting on strength beyond their own, fighting in their faith and belief. They connected to a higher power that's even more powerful than anything on earth, beneath the earth, and in all spiritual realms. 
their spirit was led by a high mighty spirit allowing to do miracles and battles that's capable beyond their own capabilities. In the book of the Old and New Testament, these are prophets who gain their spiritual knowledge from the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, who took on the battle of spiritual warfare and spiritual strength. This spiritual warfare and spiritual battle through the narcissistic behavior and fought even way back in biblical history and victory to show who is the true ruler. There was evil in its time and this spiritual evil being had been deceiving people even putting rebellious influence upon people even back in the history of man when it all began. We are given the same power through the armor of God to withstand and fight this evil force through the narcissist today. There were many things in the holy book that exemplified the spiritual warfare of the narcissistic spirit that the prophets came up against. There were many heroes who fought over this narcissistic spirit, David against Goliath, Elijah against Jezebel, the Apostle Paul against the slave woman, even our Christ Savior against the ultimate enemy, Satan himself. These people have passed the glory and victory on to us until this very day of time on giving us the spiritual weapons to fight against the narcissistic spirit and all its evil, rebellious, and wicked tactics. As months, years, decades, and even centuries had passed on by, men still remain here in history among all those who are narcissists as well. The souls of men is still carried out through his carnal flesh, and the lost souls of narcissists who are open to the channels of the spiritual realms and the high evil places beyond this secular world as it repeat itself throughout time, still finding no recovery from dark void and emptiness that seemed to be that the narcissist suffering from. You, on the other hand, got the spirit of light, and because of that, there's good in you, and he set you free from the narcissist, giving you the gift of awareness and knowledge that deliver your soul out of bondage. And now you and your mind are under the protection of the high heaven and the spiritual beings that he sent to watch over you. Because of your light, you are in his favor and protection. Until this very day, as we continue on through our daily lives, who are victims to these spiritual warfare attack, and how many out there are under the influence of the spiritual darkness from the spiritual realm? What is the truth? Is there another dimensional spiritual reality beyond our three-dimensional reality? So. Would you just rather stay exposed to what you can only see around you? Or would you rather see the truth on more than meets the eye? The choice is yours.